Hey guys, Bearded Viking Gamer here. And today I want to do something special with you here. I got uh, my PS4 collection. It's uh, over 300 titles here, so it's going to take quite a while. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know that I'm nearing 100 subscribers now, which is pretty exciting for me. Uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing. Um, once I do hit 100 mark, I am going to do a uh, giveaway. And I'll let you guys know more about that as soon as I hit that 100 mark. I'm pretty darn close, so maybe even the next video I'll probably be doing that. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of games to go through, so let's get this sucker started. So first up here we have the figurine in the, for the collector set for uh, Elix. Um, next we have the Guitar Hero Live, which is uh, you know tons of songs and the guitars. Next we have here is uh, Rocksmith 2014. You actually hook your guitar up into this thing and it has a bunch of effects on it. Valkyria uh, Revolution comes with pins and everything. I've, I've never opened this one. That's a cool little box set. Not very expensive. Slain Back from Hell. This was a cool collector's edition. The music on this is phenomenal. It's like heavy metal as you're slashing through things. Marvel Super Heroes 2, the uh, Deluxe Edition. Lego Star Wars, The Force Awakens, it's the Deluxe Edition. Pretty cool logo on the back. Life is Strange, the uh, limited edition. I bought this used and I... Really cool game. Zombie Vikings, the Ragnarok edition. Anything Vikings for sure, bring it my way. Kill Zone Shadowfall. This was a um, launch title, or one of the early titles at least for the uh, PlayStation 4. Homefront, The Revolution. Yeah, Earthfall. This is kind of like a uh, Left 4 Dead, but with uh, um, aliens instead of zombies. Days Gone. Now, I did a review on this uh, this last video. Check it out if you guys haven't seen it. This game is is a lot of fun, actually. World War Z. This is a uh, just like Left 4 Dead, only you got a lot more zombies coming at you. Okay, up next here is Gran Turismo Sport. Um, I actually bought this for the VR aspect of this. If you've never done a racing game on VR, it's pretty sweet. Beast Quest. I actually got this on clearance not too long ago. This was at a Target clearance for five dollars and. I can't read the tag if it's five dollars like sixty cents or something. Of course, Red Dead Redemption 2. Excellent game. A lot of fun there, a lot of time. It takes a lot of time when I go in that game. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Um, this is my boy's huge into the Garden Warfare, any of the series on there. Uh, this is uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden uh, Garden Warfare. I can't even say it. Next, we have Tom Clancy's The Division. They've changed the way this operates quite a bit throughout the time they came out. The Sega Genesis Classic uh, Classics Edition. This has over 50 Sega games. It's just a cool way to play a lot of the old Sega retro um, Sega Genesis games on your PlayStation. 
Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. You'll see a couple other fighter games in this lot here. Here we have uh, Ease 8. I actually have a version of this on the Switch that I did for my collection in there, and uh, it's just cool to have that for a handheld, carrying it around and to play in the same game. Here we have Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, a lot of fun for any Star Wars fan doing uh, online. This one completely killed it. When I was at E3, they were doing a uh, demo of this game, and people were lined up huge just to play Star Wars Battlefront 2. Crazy little experience to see, though. Here we got Final Fantasy XV, the Deluxe Edition. The artwork on this is pretty sweet. This is the Steelbook uh, Collector's Edition. And uh, the artwork, look at that. It's freaking cool looking. Wow. And it's got a uh, DVD that comes with it as well. Now we have Troll. Uh, here we have Bridge Constructor Portal. Another portal game, uh, just not as long as the other portals. But I always found the other portal games, you know, engineering and thinking about how to do the puzzles is pretty cool. Uh, here we have Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag the first time they've ever done the type of ship and pirates and stuff in there. It's really cool. Uh, Moss. This is a uh, VR game and the uh, angles in which you're moving your character and stuff, the views that you get when you're in the VR is pretty cool. Yakuza Zero. Minecraft, the PlayStation 4 edition. Here we have Burnout Paradise Remastered. Here is Injustice 2. Pretty fun, uh, fighting game there. This is Darksiders 2, the Definitive Edition. A lot to do in that game, actually. Hidden Agenda, this is a different type of game. You actually use your cell phone for your controller. It's really funky. Uh, this is the Spyro triple pack and the Crash Bandicoot triple pack all in one. Pretty neat. Um, I got it right before Christmas, and it was a uh, was the last one that they had in there, was, which was a double pack. It was actually cheaper to buy that than than the game separate. This is a uh, Home Sweet Home. This is a, a VR horror game. Vikings, Wolves of Midgard. Hellblade Sinwa's Sacrifice. Graphics are really cool in that game. What Remains of Edith Finch. Glad to have a physical copy there. Pharonic. Tales of Vesperia to the Definitive Edition. Shadows Awakening. This is like a, a Diablo style only. It's got a cool feature in there. You can actually travel to the death version of it and traverse too. Here we have Gravity Rush 2. Still trying to get the first one. This is Vampire.
the long dark. Here's a uh, horror game. This is White Day. Uh, it takes place in a school, actually. The Town of Light. Near, near Automata. I actually picked that up at E3 when I was there. They had a little booth there, Square Enix booth, and I was like, okay, I'll pick that one up. Uh, Wasteland 2, Director's Cut. This is just like um, the early Fallout, like Fallout 1 and 2. It reminds me of that. This is Bound by Flame. Here's Dungeons 2. Victor Varan, the Overkill Edition. This has Lemmy from Motorhead in it. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Elix, the regular edition. Here's Mega Man the Legacy Collection 2. Got quite a bit of Mega Man games in there. Here's Mighty Number no. Nine. Totally reminds you of of that Mega Man stuff. Uh, Seven Days to Die. Here is Valkyria uh, Chronicles. This is the uh, tin box edition. This one's neat. This is Persona 5, the Steelbook Edition. Uh, awesome game. Hundreds of hours you can spend in that game. This one's gone up in price. This is Shadow Warrior 2. Um, they only made a small batch of this game. Um, but if you can get this, for sure try to pick it up. This game's going up in price. Deadlight Director's Cut. If you notice that little strip right there on the bottom going across it, those are all European games have that. This is a Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. This is like a Yakuza style Grand Theft Auto, but not as polished. A lot of fun still though. This is Rise of the Tomb Raider, the 20 year celebration. Shantae, the half-genie hero. Really cool uh, 2D platformer. And of course, Dark Souls Remastered. I mean, these games are just a big pain. Freaking so rough. Dark Souls 2. To make you want to throw your controller across the room. Dark Souls 3. And of course we got Bloodborne here. Really rough games. A lot of fun though. Here we got Mutant Muds Deluxe. This was a limited run game. Um, Call of Cthulhu. Here's Paying Adventures. This is Caladrius Blaze. This is a shmup. Lots of stuff hitting you on screen on this. Um, lots of stuff on screen. Here's Torment, the Tides of Numera. Num 
This is a cool one. Little Nightmares Collector's Edition. Uh, this is a cool game for this. I'm going to play this. Try to pick this one up. Here's one for you. Mad Max. Not a bad game, actually. The storms in it are pretty cool, and you pick up a bunch of debris and, uh, and parts for your vehicles in the storms. Destiny. This is the uh, Forsaken King. This has got a couple other expansions on it. And, of course, uh, Destiny 2. A lot of people jumped on these things for online. I, I kind of got burnt out on them. Uh, Bullet Storm, the, the full clip edition. So I believe it was a PlayStation 3 game. Uh, Siberia 3. I'm still trying to get the 1 and 2 on the Xbox. Uh, the original Xbox. Extinction. Here's Dark Sires, the War Master Edition. This is the first one here. And they just released Dark Siders 3, which I'll have to try to find and pick that one up. Here's Dragon's Age Inquisition. This was one of the first type of RPGs back when the PS4 first hit. Uh, it's actually really fun. Of course, there's better stuff that's been out there now. But uh, Titanfall 2, excellent first-person shooter. Did really well with that game. Up next, here we have the Hasbro Family Fun Pack. It's got Scrabble, Trivial Pursuit, Monopoly, and Risk. All in one game. Physical. Pretty cool. Shovel Knight, 8-bit adventure. It's pretty cool. You like those 8-bit style 2D platformers. This game's right up your alley, then. It's really difficult as well. This game's not, not around anymore. Uh, Disney Infinity 2.0. You can't really do anything with it anymore. They down a lot of stuff for that. Um, Pillars of Eternity, the complete edition. Diablo style uh, game. Zombie Army Trilogy. This is just like um, the Sniper Elite series, but only with zombies. Pretty cool. Metro Redo. Started me on Metro series, was on the PC. It was pretty cool. Ghost Recon Wildlands. You get together with a friend on there and play that. A lot of fun. Here we go. Sniper Elite 3, the Ultimate Edition. If you're into sniping, this is a lot of fun here. Bullet slows down as you're going through their heads and things. Pretty cool. Showing you what you break. This is uh, Infamous Second Son. This was an early release title. I believe it was uh, one of the first titles on the PS4 again. Still a lot of fun. Here we go, we got Hell Divers. I had played this as a digital free download and then I saw it physical release so I picked it up. Here we have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, uh, online uh, try to outthink each other. Uh, the Order 1886. This game got a lot of bad rap for it for beating button presses and things, but I, I found it a lot of fun. Omega Quintet. Actually, a buddy of mine introduced me to this game. I hadn't even heard of it before. Here we have Batman Arkham. Okay, now we have Ratchet and Clank. Gosh, this game looks fantastic, the remastered version of it. Uh, I don't have a PlayStation Pro yet, but I hear that this game looks phenomenal on the Pro. Can't wait to get one of those. And all these games will look a lot better. Here we have Dead Rising. Uh, zombie, uh, zombie game inside of you, stuck inside of a mall and have to try to get out of there within a couple of days. Here's that that took off and they made uh, Dead Rising 2, which you had more more weapons to take out zombies, even more fun. And then they had the Dead Rising Frank's big package. Yeah. Okay, now we have Marvel Spider-Man. This was another title that was at our E3 that we had gone to and uh, had a pretty cool setup with a helicopter hanging with a web. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Not even the same game there, guys. The first one was... The first one I showed you there was better. Shadow Tactics. Actually, this was a 
This game got me by surprise. Really cool tactical uh, game in Japan. Pretty cool. Assassin's Creed the Enzio Collection. Some of my favorite Assassin's Creeds were those early ones in there. Um, then they started getting kind of crazy, but I do love the last one. Odyssey was really good. Um, Assassin's Creed Chronicles. This was a, I believe, a mobile game at one point. Uh, here we have Assassin's Creed Unity. This is when it started to get kind of, eh, they're pumping them out too much, you know, pumping them out too much too fast. It started to not get as good. Here was Assassin's Creed Syndicate. This is the one I think I say I didn't care for it the most. Here we have uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. I did enjoy that, actually. Origins was quite fun. Here we have the Shadows of War. And here's the first one that came out, which was Shadows of Mordor. The uh, level upgrade system on that was pretty cool. Always changing, pretty cool. Uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the special edition. This was the remastered one that hit up for the PlayStation 4 to make it look a little better. This is Far Cry Primal. There are cavemen in this. Yeah, same Far Cry type where you have open world. Neo, difficult game there. Okay, now we have The Witcher Wild Hunt. This game was excellent. Gosh, a lot of fun here. A lot of hours you can spend. And they did a really good job with that game. And this was the complete edition. I had found this very cheap. Uh, it has all the expansions on it, so hell yeah, why not? You get, a, you get a really good game, and then you make a really good game better, for sure. Horizon Zero Dawn. Another example. This game was a lot of fun. And I also picked up the complete edition that has all the expansions on that as well. Okay, here we got Shadow Warrior. This is uh, uh, a buddy had told me about this game, and it's very comical. Uh, first person, a lot of fun too. Prey, it's a different type of approach on that game. Um, wasn't a huge fan of it though. Uh, God of War Remastered was um, God of War 3, I believe, yes, God of War 3 Remastered. Here we've got the God of War. This game is fantastic, man. Visuals on that. You need to pick that game up for sure if you're getting a PlayStation 4. Tomb Raider, the Definitive Edition. Here we got For Honor. Super Dungeon Bros. Another one I picked up super cheap. This is the Elder Scrolls Online Somerset, so this is an expansion piece to the first Elder Scrolls Online Hammering Edition. So. The horror one here, The Evil Within. Of them horror games, guys. Really cool. Evil Within 2. Up next here we have Resident Evil 4. Uh, the game's been remade quite a bit, but some people that's their favorite Resident Evil. Um, Resident Evil 5. Been a quite a bit of Resident Evil games that they did redo, either remastered or redone on the PlayStation, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Resident Evil 6. Here we got Resident Evil The Origins Collection, which is Resident Evil Zero and uh, the first Resident Evil. Here is Resident Evil Revelations. Here is a Resident Evil Revelations 2. Uh, here was 
Watch Dogs. This was, man, this was first of its kind when it came out to change stoplights and things like that. Watch Dogs 2 improved all the characteristics off the first one. Here's one that's a little different. This is Brothers. Actually done in a completely different language. And uh, you actually use both joysticks to move the, both characters at once to help each other out. This is Borderlands The Handsome Jack Collection. Uh, Borderlands is a fantastic series. I can't wait for Borderlands 3. I'll be all over that. This is Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Um, those Wolfenstein games got really very, very gruesome. It was awesome. Wolfenstein The New Order. And then we have here Wolfenstein 2. Up next here we got Diablo, the Reaper of Souls. This is the Ultimate Evil Edition. Diablo 3 is a lot of fun there. Uh, alien Isolation. Really cool that the uh, alien has uh, the AI to randomly go anywhere, which makes it, you can just never know where the hell it's going to be. It's freaking awesome. Uh, the Walking Dead. This is the complete first season. Telltale Games. They're not around no more. Here is uh, The Walking Dead Season 2. And up here we have the third part of it, which was The Walking Dead The New Frontier. Here we have Kingdom Hearts uh, Prologue 1, I believe. I need to get the new Kingdom Hearts as well, that just came out. Uh, I don't have that yet. Uh, this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, simulation being there for sure. Everything you gotta do yourself. Uh, Sniper Elite 4. Very fun sniping game there. Here we have Street Fighter 5. Like your fighters, the Street Fighter games are cool. Knack. This was a day one buy. Um, this came out right when the system launched, and I picked it up and liked it. So there's made, it was successful, so they made Knack 2. And then this is the Street Fighter edition you need to pick up. This is the 30th anniversary edition, and it has the most Street Fighter games I've ever seen in a compilation. I mean, look at all those games right there at the bottom. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 damn games. That's so many Street Fighter games in one combo pack for sure. It's worth picking up. You see that? Get it. Next we have uh, L.A. Noir. This is a detective game where you got to search for clues and decide who's lying and who's not. Uh, Payday 2, Crime Wave Edition. Here's Tropico 5. Uh, sim building game. Uh, this is the one of two sports games I own. This is FIFA 14. Just never been huge into the sports games on here. And here's the second sports game I own, NBA 2K14. I don't know what it is. I, I used to be into it when I was a little kid, playing all the uh, Super Nintendo and Nintendo and things, and just haven't got into it. Song of the Deep. Here is a fantastic series. This is the Uncharted Collection, well worth it. It's Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, uh, all in one pack. And this is Uncharted 4. This is like Tomb Raider and Indiana Jones on steroids. If you're a treasure hunter, that's so much fun. This is Uncharted The Lost Legacy. This is the last one they've done so far. I uh, can't wait for them to do another one. I know they will at some point. Minecraft Story Mode. This is uh, um, a Minecraft game with, you know, Telltale type things where you choose your own thing. Uh, Battlefield 4. This was one of the first games to come out with the uh, system. 
Ayers Slain Back from Hell. This is the uh, collector's edition that I had showed you earlier. This is the physical game here. Here's one Okami HD. Uh, this one is you have, you're the wolf and you actually paint things to move around in the game. It's kind of crazy. Uh, just Cause 3. You know, let wreak a lot of havoc on the island there. This is a good time killer on that. Here we have Friday the 13th the game. Uh, a lot of fun running around with multiplayer on this. Especially if you're Jason, you're hunting down all the counselors. Uh, must pick up right here. Resident Evil 2 Deluxe Edition for sure. They did this They did this right. This is a very fun game. Very well done. Doom, fantastic first person shooter. They did it right this time. The music in this is phenomenal. Bunch of metal. Here is Fallout 4, the Game of the Year edition. This has all, all the expansions on it. Well, wow, that's a time killer in there. And this was the original Fallout 4 that I had received, but the artwork was freaking cool. I'm like, I'm gonna keep it. And I have the Game of the Year edition, I'm gonna get that. This is Outlast Trinity. This has Outlast, Outlast Whistleblower, and Outlast 2, all in one package. Here is Arcania. Super cheap title RPG. Just picked this one up cheap right before Christmas. Uh, they had a sale on it for, I believe I paid 20 bucks. This is Detroit Become Human. This is the Friday the 13th, the game. Titan Quest. I used to play this on the PC and then they brought it to uh, the PS4. It's a Shadow Complex Remastered. Fun game here. Side scroller. Nino Kuni 2. They actually showed this. Uh, this is an RPG that they had showed on uh, at E3 when I was there. Uh, Sekiro Shadows die twice. Pain in the ass game got so rough. And some people, huge fans of things, and it just gets so rough, I get so frustrated. A Way Out. Uh, this is you and an, another inmate trying to escape from prison. Of course, now you got Ghostbusters. Not as good as I thought it was going to be, but uh, here we go, some VR stuff. This is the PlayStation VR demo disc that you get when you buy the, uh, the VR unit. Here is Batman Arkham VR. This is where you get to play as Batman. You are Batman. You look down, you can see your waist belt and all your tools and stuff on it. Resident Evil Biohazard. Resident Evil 8, basically, and uh, very cool in VR. Robinson the Journey is a sci-fi VR game. Here's Drive Club VR, another driving game. Pretty cool when you're playing online and you're looking at your other opponent. Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul. Freaking really cool looking front cover. Here we have Assault Suit Linos. Mech game, side scrolling. Shoot him up. Here we go. Batman Return to Arkham. Actually, two games in one on here, totally worth the buy. The games are a lot of fun as well. Uh, Secret of Mana. This was a remake of the Super Nintendo game that they had done. Uh, and this was, a, I believe, a GameStop exclusive. Uh, Definitive Edition A Devil May Cry. This was a good one, too. Here we have Lich Dem Battle Mage. It's a cheapy title. I think I picked it up for five bucks. Um, this is a good one here. There's a lot of uh, humor and stuff in here. King's Quest, the complete collection. A lot of fun there. Uh, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. This is the day one edition. I believe this was ten bucks on... Amazon at one point. Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Uh, this is a collection from uh, over in Europe. 
Here is the South Park, the fractured butt hole. And it comes with the uh, stick of truth. This game, I do not recommend to anybody. It's just not optimized for the PS4. This is the Dwarves. Horrible. Here is Dragon Quest XI, Heroes of an Elusive Age. And here is Batman the Telltale series. Uh, that company had a lot of cool uh, pick your own adventure type. Too bad they're not around anymore. Sin Mora X. This is a uh, shmup. Shoot em up style. Side scroll. Uh, Aragami. Collect uh, collector's edition. Uh, you're in the shadows in this, for sure. Definity, the original Zin, uh, original Sin Enhanced Edition. Somewhat hard because it's not really optimized for the uh, PlayStation. Uh, Farming Simulator 17. Just a weird one there. Uh, Alkine's Gun. Guilty Gear X. Here's a fun one to play with friends if you can find it. This is Worms WMD All Star. And uh, it's Weapons of Mass Destruction. A lot of fun there. I mean, you and against your friends try to take each other out with all types of different weapons. I don't really see that out in the wild anymore, so I don't know if that's a hard one to get or not. This is a rush, a rush of Blood. This is a VR game. Very well done. Uh, this is PlayStation VR Worlds. A bunch of the different demos on there. Here is Shadow of the Colossus. Fantastic remaster. Looks really good. And it's cool trying to you know, find and, and defeat all the different Colossus. How they're all different. Here we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan. I wish they would have done this like the old arcades, but it's not, not the same. Rad Rogers, actually a pretty cool 2D platformer. Um, caught me by surprise, I didn't, didn't think it was going to be good, but it was awesome. Grand Theft Auto V, of course. Grand Theft Auto games are always a lot of fun. Lots to do in them. Here's Eve Valkyrie, another VR game, but out in space. Here we have Skyrim VR. Uh, you know, certain parts are cool in the VR, but it's not optimized for it too much. Doom VR, same thing. It's a point-and-click VR, so it's not the same type of uh, experience. UFC 2. It's always crazy to see what you know. You never know when you're going to be a one-hit knockout or anything. XCOM 2. We have Werewolves Within. This is pretty cool. You sit around a campfire and you gotta tell who's lying. And it's a VR game, so you're actually looking at all your other opponents. Which they're wearing all VR goggles as well. Lords of the Fallen. The Wolf Among Us. Another telltale game. World of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 15. A lot of time you can spend in that game. Final Fantasy 12, The Zodiac Age. This is the Tin Collector's Box. Here's Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2 HD Remastered. Here is Final Fantasy Type Zero. Here's a fun series. This is uh, Dishonored 2. And then we have Dishonored the Definitive Edition. Here is a limited run game, Observer. Uh, I picked up both copies of the diff different uh, front covers, 
So here's the same game but with a different cover. Observer again. Cyberpunk style. Hitman, the Steelbook Edition. This is the complete first season. Here is Journey, the Collector's uh, Edition. It has Journey, Flow, and Flower. Mass Effect Andromeda. The Mass Effect games on the old consoles were blast. That one wasn't as good. Uh, Battlefield 1, the early enlisted deluxe edition. Here is Murdered Soul Suspect. Not a great game, but it was cheap. Here is Mafia 3. Excellent music in that game. Here is, oh man, yeah. This is Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain. And, oh yes, of course, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This is a blast right here. This game's really good. For an Assassin's Creed game, really good. This is the Mass Effect Andromeda Collector's Tin. You actually get this with the RC car uh, that you use with your phone. Uh, Raiden 5, the director's uh, cut. This is a shmup, side-scrolling shooter. Here is Styx, Shards of Darkness. Pretty cool looking goblin. Here is Angry Birds Star Wars. Your typical Angry Birds, but everything Star Wars. Dragon Ball 15 Xenoverse. This is a good one here. The Last Guardian. Really cool story on that. I like that one a lot. Here's a two pack here. This is Inside and Limbo. Uh, Terraria. 8-bit style 2D. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online. This is the Tamriel Unlimited. This was the first one. This is the Yakuza Kiwami. Steelbook Edition. Here is Yakuza 6. The Song of Life. Here is Silence. This was a European only. Here is Shadows of the Tomb Raider. Here is Dying Light the Following. This is Dying Light with the expansions that all came with it. Here's the original Dying Light that did not have the expansions. I'll soak up the mold. Here is Monster Hunter. Uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. No Man's Sky. A lot of controversy around there, but they started coming back, making it a little better and better and better. Uh, little Big Planet 3. Lots of fun to do in that as well. Good time killer. Up next here is Need for Speed Rivals. Berserk and the Band of the Hawk. Just weird titles some of them when you can buy it. Berserk, I have the uh, anime series. so This is Shenmue 1 and 2. It's really cool to have that from the Dreamcast coming into the PlayStation 4. This is Back to the Future, the game. This is another Telltale game where they have choices that you pick. This is uh, Marvel's Pinball the Epic Collection Volume 1. This is Jurassic World Evolution. Sim Ant and Sim City type with Jurassic Park. Kind of cool. Uh, Hello Neighbor. Here is Warhammer The End Times. Vermintide. 
is NASCAR Heat Evolution. Here is Injustice. Gods Among Us. This is the Injustice one. Call of Duty Ghosts. Here is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is the Day Zero Edition. Here's Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. This is probably my favorite out of all those. Here's Call of Duty World War II. Bioshock The Infinite Collection. Here is Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. We're going to get into the Lego games here. There's quite a bit of them. Uh, Lego Lego Movie Video Game. Here is Rayman Legends, awesome game, uh, good time killer on it, a lot of stages, some of them pretty rough, some of them not. Lego City Undercover, here is Lego The Incredibles, here is Lego Harry Potter. Uh, the collection, which is years I think one through four, and then six through seven or so. Lego uh, Jurassic World, Lego Avengers, here's Lego Worlds, uh, Lego Hobbit. Legos DC Super Villains. And then we have the Lego The Star Wars The Force Awakens. Here is Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the first one. Here's Lego Dimensions. Here's Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. And then here is Republic. And of course Until Dawn. Now I have do have a few cool ones here to show you. Alright guys, now I'm down to my final two and these were very special to me. Um, this one is uh, done by Greg Brick. He does the father of Joseph Seed on uh, Far Cry 5 and it is signed by him. I don't know if you can see that. But it is signed and autographed by him. And then this is my favorite game of all time so far on the PS4 anyways. Well, it was on the PS3 originally but The Last of Us Remastered and I actually have it autographed by Troy Baker which is freaking pretty sweet. That is the voice of Joel. That sums it up for my uh, my PS4 collection. Um, of course, I'm always collecting for the stuff. But uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll show you guys some more collections. I want to hear some comments down below which games you thought out of here that were some of the best ones that you liked. Um, and is there if there's anything awesome that I'm missing, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next week.